do you have a plan going into training camp for how you're going to treat like these streets or just play it by ear by the way the players are moving? The there is a general plan that is always subject to adjustment. We've got a great group of guys here, so they they really handled the, the two consecutive days after the game really well, and they understood. You know, you know we played Milwaukee, and you know they just they're so good. They they put you in situations and make you look bad and, and stuff like this. Our guys, no, we got we got work to do. We got work to do in the next nine or ten days before we play Washington. Justin added uh, 20 pounds over the offseason. Have you noticed any difference in his game as far as speed of strength and anything like that along those lines? Well, his speed hasn't hasn't changed. He's still fast. Uh, he's still quick. Um, but he has more strength, more durability. Uh, his ability to be more physical defensively and offensively, which uh, is a great help for him. Uh, and, you know, some of the guys – you know, in, in the NBA, um, you know, they, their bodies develop, they grow until they're 21, 22 years old. You know, it's just, you just never know. But in his case, um, I don't know that he's grown any taller, but he has worked extremely hard. He's been meticulous about doing the things you need to do to keep the weight on, you know, in terms of diet um, and those kinds of things. I think Jenny is one of like three women assistant coaches in the league. I know uh, she's one of 11. Is it 11 now? There are, there are 11 women in either on the bench or behind the bench roles uh, in the NBA, I believe. Looks like she's been doing some work with Luca. I'm just curious what she's brought to your coaching staff over the last season. Well, she has a lot of experience. Um, <clears throat> she's a very good player, <clears throat> one of the original draftees in the WNBA in, I believe, 96. Um, and she's been a professional coach at the, at the women's level um, for 20 years and been a, a two-time head coach. So um, her teams were always elite teams offensively. She has a very creative mind offensively and, uh, and, a, very, and a very uh, and a lot of experience uh, dealing with the defensive end as well. And just uh, it's given it's given me another different type of uh, mind to tap into. Um, but she's been great. She's great on the floor with guys. Uh, they respect her. They know how hard she works at the game, and uh, you know, she speaks the language of NBA basketball. Was she one of the ones that helped DeAndre improve his free throw shooting last year? She was involved with all our guys last year. How, uh, how do you see Maxie's role evolving or maybe expanding uh, given White's uh, uncertain status? Well, we're, look, he's, he's a starting caliber player. There's no question about that. Um, and you know, I've left it open with our roster that you know, we're going to look at a lot of different things. I believe we started a different team every game so far. So that. That could well continue, um, especially with some guys being out. But uh, he's one of our top players. And his versatility is key. Um, his ability to play four and five. His shooting, driving, defense, rim protection is very unique for a guy of his body type and position. See the official big German now? I suppose. <laughs> Yeah. Following him. Well, Following I mean, the guy's footsteps. Look, we don't get into the comparison game around here. I mean, to be honest, I mean, you know, it'd be unfair to anybody to compare to Dirk and what he accomplished. Um, but it's, you know, it's great that just about all these guys uh, were able to spend some period of time with Dirk as a teammate. You know, Curry spent a whole year with him. Maxie spent you know, a year and a half. KP spent, you know, about a third of a year. It just, it just adds something. Speaking of dirt, what do you think of those logos? Awesome. Awesome. We yeah, like it. I just think it's a, it's a fitting tribute to you know, a guy that stood for all the right things. The organization of the city. He's a, he's 
a symbol. It would be an enduring symbol of, of greatness and uh, you know, integrity and humility. And that's uh, it's a great message for people in our city, organization, what we stand for. And, and it's nice for him, too. Do you look at JJ as kind of being the culture carrier in, in some way now, kind of post Dirk, or has he always kind of had the same role in the team? Well, he's one of our leaders, for sure. Um, he's the last guy remaining from the championship team, and that's significant. Um, but that's not the only reason he's here. You know, he's here because he's a hell of a player, and uh, <clears throat> he's worked extremely hard and, and had a very good training camp. So he'll um, he'll play some significant minutes tomorrow. Certainly with, uh, with Brunson being out. Um, and, you know, it's an important game for him just to keep getting his rhythm, keep getting his conditioning, his rhythm, his, his field, his NBA game field.